first card out is we have death. Okay, I'm learning that endings are morally new beginnings. So there's a death here. Okay. And envy. Who child? Who child? <laughs> so there's a death and rebirth here. Okay. Something is over. Whoever this envious person is. Because that's why I heard, like, somebody is cleaning up, like, they cleaning up. I don't know whether that's your house or you just cleaning up, just cleaning, like, whatever no longer serves you anymore, you letting it go, okay? And you made the right choice, okay? Or whatever, or some decision that you came, um, came to was good because somebody has somebody envious around them, okay? There's a death with this envy. What's this? Yeah, can't make it up. Cut your cords. So who, uh, look, I'm giving somebody, this could have been somebody you even loved. It's like somebody forced your hand to cause the ending. What's this card? Yeah, power animal. You have a powerful um spirit, um, an animal spirit guy that is guarding you and is helping you with this situation. Something that wasn't for you anymore. I just heard waste of time. So you could have felt like you wasted your time with this individual, but something is over with. You learned the lesson, you're moving on, and somebody is real envious. Ooh, child, what's under the bottom? Laws of attraction. Okay? So, you know, it's laws of attraction is, is about frequency, you know? You could be definitely manifesting. Maybe, um... See, this is a... <laughs> So let's see, I feel like you guys are very high vibrational and you could be manifesting, okay? Cleansing things that no longer serve you, getting ready for the new, new, okay? And someone else is not taking that very well. They're not. Because whatever energy they put out with this laws of attraction, it just giving me that it's just resurfacing back to them, okay? And somebody don't like the fact that you're getting away you're getting a rebirth. Something is changing in your life now that you cut the cords. Whoever this envious person is, they didn't want you to cut some damn cords. No, they didn't. Okay. Somebody could be obsessing. I'm hearing somebody feels like they need you in their life. What, what is that about? Whoever this envious person is, they feel like they need you in, the, in, in their life. Yeah. I'm hearing somebody do not appreciate you cutting the cords. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, something could be like very shocking as well. Holy Spirit, give me more of this energy. I cannot make it up. I cannot, Holy Spirit divine. What these two cards says? Death out here twice. Mm, 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 mm. The relationship is over. No second chances. No second chances. Grow. Transform. What is what is dead is dead. What did I say? Something is over. You learned whatever lesson you needed to learn here. You could have found out that somebody was really, they was never on your team. They was envious the whole time. Death out here twice. Something is over. Something is changing. And I feel like you is changing. You is seeing somebody for who they are and you cutting your cords. Archangel Michael is helping you clear old attachments, any type of fears, anything that, that any type of attachment that you had to the, whoever this person that you was in a past relationship with. Like some type of disruptive patterns is something that's being, is over with. You and this, whoever you or this person is, I feel like you know you know in your hearts that it's over. I feel like you, you I, I wouldn't be surprised if I pulled a Queen of Cups in the tarot. It's like, I feel like you're not bitter. You're not any of that. Something is just over with. And whoever you close the people, places, and things, this don't even have to be romantic. Take it how it resonates. But Whoever this person is that you that this change is this over this death card, this person cannot take that someone who's real genuine 
kind because I'm getting like the Queen of Cups in my third eye. It's going. And this person is envious. But I don't feel like there's somebody who got envy overnight when you left. I feel like there's somebody who always had that in their spirit towards you. And now a relationship is over where you feel like there's no second chances. There's no me. Somebody is cleaning house. Somebody is cleaning house. And they feel refreshed. They feel happy. Yeah, it's like somebody just want peace. They want harmony. I feel like you getting, you know, you you getting grounded or you grounded. I'm picking up on somebody who's very down to earth. You know, this could have definitely caused you some type of pain, some heartache. But I feel like you so down to earth. It's like you don't you don't wish nobody evil or any of that. You know, you might even possibly still have love for this person. But these cords is done. Like, chip, chip, like it's snip, snip. Like somebody's cleaning house. And there's a guardian angel, a, a powerful animal spirit guy that is around you and protecting you and helping and assisting you as you heal, as you go through this change, this new beginning. Something is over with and somebody not taking it well. Could be a lot of talk about this. Somebody could be missed talking to you. Maybe the communication is cut off with these cords cut in. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Talking came back out. Wow. Interested, awaiting messages, text calls, emails, talking more. Okay. So what's something about me? A coffee cup and abundance. Not today. <laughs> I ain't played with y'all, so I see. I ain't played with y'all. Okay. Whoever this person that wants to talk to you, okay, this person can be watching their phone, you know, hoping that you call them again or you send them a text message or shoot them an email or whatever how you communicate with this person. Somebody is missed talking to you and communicating with you. That is over with. The death out here twice. There's an ending, okay? This abundance, I feel like whatever this you walking into is giving me a ten of pentacles, Okay? A positive mindset, manifest, gratitude, bliss, and blessings. Your mind could have changed, okay? And I'm telling you, like I said, with the laws of attraction and even manifestation, that, that is a frequency. You have to be on a certain frequency to be able to manifest, you know, a certain way. Somebody is realizing somebody is dead weight. And somebody... They envy you any damn way. They could be envying you the way you manifest, how grateful you are. It could be for the smallest things. You could be opening up a bag of peanuts or, or, or twisting the top of the water, a, a, you know, a bottle of water. You, you're giving thanks. You're grateful. Somebody does not like your blessings. And you realize that we're not today. Not today. Boundaries and hurt. Avoiding conversation. Not dealing. Still upset. Yeah, you you just like not today. This could be somebody who's still upset because they don't uh, they don't have access to you the way they how they used to. You got your boundaries up, and this person is hurting and envying you. And I don't feel like you you want to deal with this at all. That's why two death cards out here. Something is over with. Okay, hammer, sabotage, rebuild, working on repairing. This person who sabotages this connection with you, it could be you know, contemplating or going back and forth in their head, you know, how they sabotage this connection or if they can just talk to you once again, how they will try to repair the situation. The dragonfly, lighthearted, adapt, finding out and cha finding out and changing things, coming to the light and heal. So maybe the reason with this death card the, um, being out here twice, you found out some type of truth, which is that this person is really envious of you and it changed everything. How you even see this person or, you know, even, you know, how you even view this person in any type of way. All of that went out the window. And then with this lighthearted, like I said, it's, it's giving me like, I, I feel like somebody is still, still kind, still nurturing. It, yeah, I feel like it could have hurted you, you know, you could possibly even be still healing from the situation, but 
you don't want anything to do with it. Something is over. Yeah, because you feel like somebody was wearing a mask and they got, they want to call you? Love call and mask. <laughs> so she's like, play with y'all. Okay. You feel like this person was hiding their true self or this person was hiding their true feeling. This person was pretending like they didn't care. Somebody was possibly literally out here gaslighting, acting like they didn't care, you know, um, you know, just trying to like, like somebody was trying to like, I heard store time, like, hmm. So somebody could have been trying to like store time and trying to mask themselves so they can take some type of abundance from you. You could have found out the truth of why somebody was trying to connect to you and you cut your cords. And whatever this envious person is giving you like the two of wands, whatever they was planning, all of that became came to an end. Mm. For others of you guys, I feel like when you came into whoever this envious person, I won't even say person because I don't like the, I don't want to say, it don't be the people, it be the spirit that's on them. I feel like for, for others of you guys, right, when you came in this person's life, everything changed. Like, things that this person would usually do, they want to do, they think about doing it. And I feel like for some of you guys, it took this person a long time, a long time um, to either change or realize that. But it might be to a point where you guys are like, not today. Like somebody ran out of time and they thought like they had enough time. So that's for the other half of you guys, okay? Poker face, taking a chance, risk options, not showing hand and gambling, self-indulgent. King on the ring. Yeah, it's, I'm telling you, somebody thought they had enough time. Ascending, coffin. Yeah, something changed. Look, ascending, coffin with engagement ring. That's what I'm saying. For the other half of you guys, when you came into this person's life, something changed. For somebody who, like, was thought on, like, they thought they had enough time to do whatever they, you know, maybe whatever they was used to doing. But somebody knew if they came to a point where they was ready to settle down or be in a commitment, it will always be you. Like, you will be the person that they will put first. But somebody just kept playing these games, baby Ray games, and they ran out of time. And it's to the point where somebody is literally cleaning the house, like, listen, somebody is on some whole new new, like, okay? Ooh, child. Yeah. It's like somebody always knew that you were special. They always knew that. But somebody must have thought that they was gonna, you know, somebody like you was gonna stick around forever. I don't I don't know. Spirit like, oh no, soulmates under the bottom. Yeah, cutting out. Yeah, soulmate, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, light partner, cutting down, cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, and silent treatment. Whoever this soulmate is, they don't, they want to stop the silent treatment. They don't want you guys to be in separation anymore. Yeah, the chaser. Okay. Now this person wants to chase after this connection. Now they want to date you. But you, a lot of you guys may feel like this person backstabbed you in some type of way. And now you're just moving on. But a lot of you guys is giving me like the temperance in my third eye. Somebody was patient for a long time. And then things changing. Change. I heard changing. Yeah, love. Wow, love and wedding rings. Things changing. <laughs> I feel like things about to change in your love life. Somebody could be afraid of... I can't make it up. Somebody could be afraid of you getting new love. Or getting a... a um, an unconditional love. Something that... A love of wholeness, you know? Um... Wedding rings, union marriage, soul connection, everlasting love. Someone who's going to be devoted to you. Somebody knew that you was a special one. They knew that. But somebody thought they had enough time. But something, they ran out of time. Yeah. 
Somebody is worried about this change, the butterfly and sunglasses. Somebody seeing you as so, that you change. The butterfly evolving and growth. Next phase, healing in the child, releasing the past. Sunglasses, watching, looking, and stalking. This person watched you go through a major change from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Somebody thought that they would never ever lose you. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Yeah, with the shit part. <sighs> Cutting ties, moving on, receiving what you need, progression and arriving. I'm telling you, you guys are moving on to like, it's giving like the six of swords, the karma waters. Yeah, paradise. I can't make it up. Happiness, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. It's like your whole life is about to change. And whoever this person that's envious, they they aware of it. Yeah, ground, the stability and security. Okay, performance, growth. Yeah, somebody knows that your life is about to be different. I feel like you're getting real stable, grounded. you cleaning house. Like, you get you cleaning house. I see. That's how I feel it. Yeah, and it's shock. Shock. Look, shock. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, empathy, and transformation. Yeah. Some, it's like this is like a tower. Somebody is like, yeah, you caused in a tower or you going through a tower moment. But this tower, I feel like for you is good. For someone else, they're like, oh, hell no. Ain't nobody going to make me happy. Ain't nobody going to love me the way you did. Ain't nobody going to care for me the way you did. Ain't nobody going to be there for me the way you did. Ain't nobody going to talk to me the way you did. Ain't nobody going to understand me the way you did. Ain't nobody gonna put up with my crap the way you did. Yeah, Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise. Imitation shrunk by love. I feel like with this shock and Cupid's arrow, somebody is shocked. Okay? Somebody, if they if they thought they was dreaming and they were just like fantasizing and thought you were special in the beginning, it's like now it's like I got I, I, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love even more than what I was before, but I just held it back from Mr. Sunflower Collector Sun Seeds. Somebody's also afraid of you getting a love that will make you happy. Someone who's devoted to you. Someone who's going to appreciate you. Someone who ain't going to play no baby Ray ass games, gaslighting you, thinking they can do that to somebody because they know somebody has a good heart. No. Laws of attraction is out here. Okay? Whatever you put out is, is what you get back. Mm. Yeah, you out here making health, healthy choices, self-love, self-care, being happier, loving life. This is you out here loving on yourself, okay? And that's the frequency itself. It, so. You just loving on yourself. I feel like you guys are creating, you know, wealth, uh, um, attracting wealth, miracles, abundance to your life because of your healthy choices, because of you loving yourself. Yeah, coffin, new beginnings, liberation, reborn, transition, and tragic endings. Something was a major ending for you, okay? But it's a, it's a beautiful new beginning. For a lot of you guys, this could have been someone you knew for a, a lot of years. Engagement ring. Some of you guys could have been engaged to this person. But this was somebody who was wearing a mask. Twin flame. Or maybe your twin flame is realizing that, you know, um, they were being fake the whole time. They was the one who was being fake, you know? They were being fake, acting like they didn't want something when they knew from day one, when they first met you, what's up? It's like now it's giving me all somebody got is memories. Mm. Yeah, backstabbing, heartbreak. And pain, separation and loss, deception and lies, shock and attack. Somebody backstabbed someone and it caused a great pain, a lot of pain. For you guys, you know, you know, well, you know, after pain, there's a lot of gain, a lot of gain, okay? A lot of new beginnings, okay? Karmic relationship. <sighs> Triggers. 
intensity, letting go, turmoil, and fleeing. This person could have, you know, possibly, um, you found out this person was with someone else, so possibly marry someone else, if not just gave it someone else a commitment. And you decided to like say, you know what, this this is this right here, this is this I'm gonna focus on myself. I'm gonna I'm focus on myself. I'm gonna pull all my energy back and I'm gonna focus on myself and I'm gonna clean house. Because somebody been patient for a long time. And now somebody else could be realizing that they were dealing with a karmic partner. And the one that they love is changing, evolving. They ain't the same anymore. I'm hearing somebody like one gotta go. <laughs> and this one is out the door. But the one they want might already have left already. It looks to me with the death card out here twice. <clears throat> yeah, teddy bear and mad. Interested in you, blooming, romance, flirting, wanting a date. This is how they always felt. But they wore a mask. Somebody could have even settled for somebody who was a snake. And they could be in so much pain and regret about that. What's the envy card, Holy Spirit? What's the envy card? What's the envy? <laughs> okay, so somebody envies you because you're getting grounded. Because you have stability and security. Growth and endurance. So somebody is... Envying you because they see you as grounded. Because I told you earlier with the envy card, it's giving me like the two of wands. Somebody's either what they was planning or some type of choice, I mean, some type of decision that they made. So something backfired on this person. And when this person sees you, somebody, you know, they see that you have went through some type of change and they feel like you're grounded, you're more stable, you love yourself, you're taking care of yourself, you have grown so much. Somebody is mad at you because of that. Somebody is mad at you because of the choice and the decisions that they made. Paradise. Again, happiness and joy. Playfulness. Enjoying each other. Honeymoon. New fade. This person wants to start over. That's what the call is going to be. They want to start over. Somebody wants you to take them back. They want to talk to you. They want to express their love. Whoever this runner was. This was the this was the same one that was a runner at one time. Okay? Yeah, that made you not enough in the in the chaser. Somebody made you feel like you weren't good enough. That you had to fight for their love or or chase them down. Or made you feel like something was wrong with you. The whole time it was never you. It was them projecting their energy onto you. And somebody force your hands after enough time of being patient to just go within it. Transform, ascend, change. And since you have changed, you ain't never been the same. Somebody cleaned house and they ain't never been the same. Yeah, ascending. Ascending, learning, expansion, transcending. Okay? Preparing for union, new phase. This person could have realized a lot too. The snake and twin flame and engagement ring. Yeah. Somebody had a karmic partner that was competing, competing um with you. That you ain't even yeah, competing the other woman. You ain't you don't even want listen. Sunseeds. Somebody competing with you that you listen. <laughs> you over here trying to you know, ascend and evolve and work on you. I felt like you were just working on you. You probably was you probably had no idea that you was ascending and evolving and you was you was going through this just transformation and this change. All you did was pour into yourself with the self-love and the care. And it changed everything. It changed everything the moment you did that. The snake twin flames and engagement. Like I said, they could have proposed to this person. This karmic, or they could have gave this karmic some type of um, or offered them some type of offer or whatever. But who, but it was never really good enough for this karmic because this karmic always knew how this person felt about you. This other woman was competing with you. 
It says the other woman could be under me and take it how it resonates. Okay? Look over your shoulder. I feel like you ain't you ain't you you didn't even know. You didn't even know. And you didn't even have to look over your shoulder because whoever this 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 powerful um animal spirit guy that's guarding you and is protecting you and assisting you on this situation, they was already there. By the time you knew about this, by the time you get this reading and you get this confirmation, it was already taken care of. It was already taken care of. Okay? <laughs> yeah, shock. Okay. Sudden sudden change, sudden news, king on the ring. Yeah. Somebody knows that you're gonna have a lot of options. King, um, key on the ring. Many options, okay. And shocks. So whoever this person is, they're gonna know you're gonna have a lot of options. This also something could have been shocking to you to find out this person was somebody who had like a low vibrational energy to where they had like either sex addiction or they slept around or they was into one night stands or they were just into like a lot of low vibrational energy that you was unaware of but i feel like you are this rising phoenix with this ship yep phoenix new phase every kindle renew grow change mind rise from the ashes you risen from the a ashes as you ascended and moved away to common waters with this boat. Yeah. A lot of you guys could be, you know, finding out this person, the golden mirror, that this person was a narcissist. Narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided. Yeah, clock. Yeah, needing time cycle, take time, time to heal and, and progress. In. That's what I said earlier. It's like a, for somebody, you feel like you wasted time. You wasted time. When you find out the truth about somebody, Somebody was a narcissist. And whoever this narcissist was, they was trying to buy time to like try to hold someone up. No. They were just in the way spirit is saying like they got to go. Yeah, the dragon, the dragonfly. Yeah. Somebody is somebody is hurt, heartbroken, because this lighthearted, you yeah, you left. Spirit said, oh no. I'm gonna remove my lighthearted. Okay, big beam of light. Okay, out your way. Mm -mm. I feel like somebody mishandled you. Blowing kisses in old school. This person could be listening to a lot of old school music. Thinking about when you guys was on good terms. Somebody could feel like you had that old school love. They could be really watching a lot of love movies or watching love songs. It also gave me with the old school blowing kiss, um, outdated thinking. Um, somebody could be feeling like they sabotaged this connection with you because of the way how they, they, they thought, you know, the way how they operated. But I feel like, like I said, they felt like they had enough time. Somebody thought, yeah, partying and addiction. Somebody thought that they had enough time to like do whatever they like to do. And when it came time to commit, you would just be right there. Separation and karmic relationship. Somebody thought like you would just be right there. They thought they had enough time. And while they was out there thinking they had enough time, you was over here. <laughs> On oh, a whole nother type of time. Four wands to the page of wands. Whoever this person that is, 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 is mm -mm, they feel some type of way. Especially whoever they karmic is or the other woman is. Somebody competing with you because of your stability. Because they feel like you're, you're good news. You're very inspirational. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ace of Cups to the Page of Swords. This person's watching. Yeah, they watching to see if you got new love. They watching to see if you want a union. Did you meet anybody? If somebody is watching and stalking you. Yeah, five of wands. Yeah. Whoever this person that tried to compete with you or cause challenges or, you know, lie to get their way. You know, cause any type of conflict in your life because they was really envious. 
that is over with with the Ten of Swords. Knight of Cups, King of Cups, the Magician, Knight of Wands. It's like I said, it, it, it always it gives me of a person who manifested their dream girl, their dream guy, or to you know just to get them and then and then and love bomb them and and and, and, and gaslight them and be guarded as hell. Like like you can have your way out here like that. Like <laughs> the father was like, "Give me my Earth Age you back. Give me my Earth Age you back." Somebody gonna learn today. And they envious of you because you got your shit together with this ground, this stability, and security? I think not. Ooh, yeah. What's this? The son to the hermit. Whoever you ghosted or whoever you done pulled away from and went within, I feel like that was somebody... Listen. If they thought it was cute because you was a homebody or they thought it was cute because you spent a lot of time by yourself or maybe you just work and do business and you just go home and do, you know, do what you got to do for you and your family. Somebody must have, oh, that was, they thought that was cute. Like, oh my God, like, and this is somebody who probably could have been bragging about you to people, talking about you, just talking to coffee cup, talking about you to people. Oh, I know they whole schedule. I know what they do. The whole time is this person don't realize the more you sit with yourself is the more you going within and within and within and within. Okay? You being this talent too. I feel like people that even even thought they knew you, they realize that they don't even know you like that. The more you want within, it brought you some type of sense of happiness and joy and peace. It brought it brought more truth and clarity with the sun to the hermit. Okay. You went within and something was illuminated to you and that was all you needed to cut your cords with two deaths out here. But somebody else like, hell no. You was made for me. I done bragged about you. The death cards of the king of wands. I done bragged about you. I was going to take action. What they say? Mm. I was just, them girls, I was going to get right back. Oh, this person thought, oh, child, that's Jay-Z's phone. Wait, so this person was out here having one-night flings, doing whatever they wanted to do. They were like, I'm, I was going to come, like, they was going to come right back. Oh, child. I don't know what they thought they was thinking. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, out here trying to gaslight. They were just overdoing it, doing too much. This could be somebody to inflame too. What's the we got Leo and Virgo out here? Give me more of this energy, home spirit. Somebody feels like nobody loves them like how you do. The Emperor in reverse. You know what? I am about to. The Emperor in reverse. Okay, someone who lacks discipline, someone who's very stubborn. Possibly um this person um um the emperor have children, not a good parent to their child. This is somebody who wanted to dominate you. They wanted to control you in any way. Aries energy. For some of you guys, is your divine masculine. They wanted to control you. Somebody feels like you were made just for them. But they they it was on their terms and they was gonna control how how how, how this love was gonna go down. What? God said, what? <laughs> what? You got to see my faith over here to see it. Ooh, child. The star card to the nine of pentacles. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Ooh, child. Somebody gave you enough time to heal, okay? Go within. This person definitely sees you as their wish. Mm-hmm. Somebody feels like with the star to the nine of cups, you, they own you. King of pentacles. I think I feel like this is you create King of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Man, listen. This person feels like people are seeing you as very stable. Okay, this person feels like you got a lot of options. This person wants to come and apologize. Somebody is worried about you having new love and being in a in in a in a, in a, a connection with this um wedding rings. We've seen the King of Pentacles. To the nine of pentacles, to the star, somebody is worried about you finding true unconditional love. Something that's going to be stable, solid. Eight of wands to the six of wands. Somebody is worried about this victory that you're getting. Mm, 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 mm. This emperor in reverse. Ooh, shit.
Mm-mm. And they envious. This damn person is mad. Three of cups. Why? Because you're celebrating. You're happy. I felt like you were just something with your divine timing. Mm-hmm. Give me more Holy Spirit. This could be friends. This could be a community. This person could be also finding out that you hanging out. Maybe you're going out or maybe you, you're going to events. You could be going to social events, workshops, seminars. Um, just getting out more. Somebody, whoever this emperor reverse, they're very aware of that. What's this? The king of swords. That's the truth with the higher friends to the ten of wands. Hmm. I feel like this person wanted to overdo their power. They wanted to overdo their power. They wanted to have control over you. Um, somebody could actually work in the justice system. This person could be like a correction officer, a police officer. Um, they could work at the courthouse, the jailhouse. They could be a lawyer, public defender officer. They could just work for the justice system in some type of way. But some of you guys could even be a firefighter. But for others of you guys, this person just, um, they just overdid their control, Okay. And, and 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 they was very cold to you. Very cold. What's the Ten of Wands, Holy Spirit? Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is the Six of Cups. Clear out with the Six of Cups. When this person reminisces about you and think about you, it's hard and it's heavy on this person. Because God is not letting this person, they, they God is not letting up on this person. They're not letting this person forget what they've done to you. They're not. Give me a card on the Six of Cups, Holy Spirit. Eight of Swords to the Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, God is not letting up on... This person is going to remember how they treated this person that they had in their life that were just full with just love. Unconditional love. Intentions was pure. It was like, look at this hand with this ace of cups. This is God giving you a gift. Look, giving you a gift. And you've mistreated. It's somebody manifested like they dream girl, they dream God, only to get it to be like, oh, yeah, I'm cocky. I, yeah, I got it right there. I, yeah, I, I, I manifested somebody who I, who I know when, if, even if it's 100 years from now, when I'm ready to commit, I, you, you know, I, I know I can settle down because I, I, I found them, but I, I could be out here playing and doing what I want to do. God, like, what? You out here wasting time? <laughs> like, oh, hell no. Yeah. Somebody wanted to have you trapped to them. Yeah, they wanted you, they, they did. I'm telling you, somebody overdid their control. With the high to the ace of cups, and God is just not having it. No. Two of Pentacles. What's the eight of swords energy? Somebody could even be incarcerated. Now, with this death out here twice, you know, hopefully this is just, a, you know, a change, you know? Get this person to change the act, okay? Well, something could be an actual death. What's the Eight of Swords, Holy Spirit? Knight of Wands to the Four of Swords. Wow. Somebody could not be doing too well. Knight of Wands to the Four of Swords to the Eight of Swords. Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords, Two of Wands. 
I would hope, you know, somebody don't, you know, pass. This code not gonna be forever. Somebody don't pass over. Somebody could be, you know, um, let me get that, um, passing over in jail. <clears throat> Oh, child. Knight of Wands to the Four Swords, Eight of Swords. Or this could just be a mental prison where this person is in. Mm hmm. Yeah, the moon card. Something is a secret. Six of Swords, Page of Swords. It's like, how did you know? How did you know to leave me behind? How did you know to get like, what the hell? How did you know to, you know, to, cause you're guys, you got a, a powerful, a spiritual, um, sp um, a powerful animal spirit that's guiding you. What's the name of the Holy Spirit? Yeah, you, it was, it was, it was fated for something to change. For you to leave this behind. I can't make it up four cups. Reject this person. The death card out here twice. The high friend, Holy Spirit. Thank you. The high friend is clarified with the ten of cups in reverse. Somebody is unhappy. Yeah, because whatever choice or decision that they made, Sun Seeds, they regret it now. It's like somebody feels like with the Eight of Swords, like, um, like they trapped in the situation. It's like is 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 no harmony. If they live in a home, is they're not happy. Somebody is also not happy about this separation between you guys. It's like wherever they at, they unhappy, they bored, they don't want to be there. Somebody just want to be with you. Somebody could be also in regret about going back to somebody from their past. Yeah, three of swords. Eight of pentacles, the justice. I feel like, yeah, you mastered yourself in some type of way. And it you you um it caused some type of ascension. It's like you're not the same person anymore. And that's somebody karma because they thought they had they had, like somebody was playing games with an earth angel. I can't make it up. Temperance of the chariot. Somebody was playing games with an earth angel, and God was like, no. Nah, we about to get you right on about the way. Eight of Wands. Something happened quickly. We about to get you right on up out of the way. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Even we got to move you out the way, like home, new location, across town, or wherever this at. Yeah. Somebody is in regret about it. Five of Cups. The Hayman. Yeah, because you're not stuck. King of Cups or the King of Swords. You set up boundaries with whoever this person is. Yeah. You set up boundaries. I feel like you want the real. And this 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 just this just wasn't hitting it for you. Yeah, somebody wants a whole new passionate beginning. Mm-hmm. I feel like you've been through a lot, but you came out of this victorious. You are the warrior, you know? You are getting the victory. I feel like you were confident to move forward. You looking ahead. You seeing the bigger picture. You have grown and ascended so freaking much. Seven of Wands, the Fool card. And this person wanted to block you from freeing yourself. They didn't want you to free yourself. That's the damn truth spirit is saying. He's a sword. They didn't want you to free yourself. Somebody wanted to... Whoever well, this Emperor... Give me a call on this Emperor reverse, Holy Spirit. Just, just doing too much. Who shall? Yeah. The Emperor Reverse is clarified with the star. Okay. The Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you are the warrior. You are the you you you've been through something, but you are this wounded warrior. Okay, with this star card, I feel like you 
are the chosen one. You are someone who have healed yourself, okay? You have healed. Whatever you've been through with this person, you have healed yourself and cut the cords. And with the Queen of Wands, I just felt like you had the confidence and you was able to persevere and be able to do this. With the Four of Pentacles, whoever this Emperor in reverse is, they want to hold on to you because they see you as they wish. They see you as they person. They don't see nobody else. They don't see anybody else. And as they, as they even grow and evolve even more, when they come out of this Emperor in reverse, it just eats at them even more. Okay, because you are this Ace of Pentacles. They want to bring you an offer. They want a new beginning with you. They see you as this, this very abundant, you know, spiritual being having human experiences every day. But somebody knows that your love, your energy is not from here. It's not, it's not, wow, it's not recognizable. So maybe whoever they was around or people they was around, or maybe whatever outdated beliefs that they had or, you know, outdated thinking, they only, you know, thought of people would be a certain way. That's why somebody felt like they was either like the man around here or the woman around here. Like somebody thought too highly of themselves to think that a, a beautiful energy like this, that God was going to sit on the shelf and wait for this type of energy. Somebody who's out here playing in these, playing, playing in these streets or whatever, how they was doing it. No. No, you was even lucky to even, you know, to even come across the energy like that. Especially if it's for your twin flame, then I can understand, you know. You was a mirror to them what they needed to, you know, go within and fix. And also for you as well, we got two death cards out here. Both of you guys could be going through some change right now. One person could have definitely ascended and went through the whole thing. Somebody else could be so damn stubborn to where they fight in the change. And study going within and knowing that everybody got 24 hours to heal, to be prosperous, to work on themselves, to use their natural born talents that God had everybody. But instead, somebody is being envious because you choosing to ground yourself because of your stability, your security, your growth. Your growth makes some make make someone envious of you because they're too stubborn to go within. Because you have the confidence, the nine of wands to the, the queen of wands. You still you, everything you've been through, you still have the confidence to keep going. You knew success was near. You knew your breakthrough was near. You focused on your healing. And this person wants to hold on to you tight with the four of pentacles. But they want to hold on to you with the ace of pentacles as well. Why? Because somebody could be experiencing hardship out in the cold. They could be struggling. And they see you over here in this abundant energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the ten of cups in reverse, Holy Spirit? Ten of cups in reverse is the ace of swords in reverse. They unhappy because they are lying. They're unhappy because they wasn't truthful to you. That's the laws of attraction. What somebody put out to the universe, they got right back. They got right back. Everything you did did not go in vain. It just put you in alignment. The moment that you put yourself first. This person was too busy out here trying to control you and lie on your name. They made things hard when it didn't have to be hard. Out here trying to cause you conflict and challenges and arguments and stuff. Being hostile with someone that God brought into to their life to help them. <laughs> Ace of Ken of Cups is clarified with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Spirit said they are not happy. They are not happy. They're a liar. Somebody, only thing they think about is you. Only thing they think about is you. Somebody feels very lonely without you. Give me a card on the Four of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Somebody thought you would never, ever, 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 ever leave. Four of Pentacles are clarified with the Six of Swords. They thought you would never leave. This is you moving away to Karma War. This is your guide here helping you. Justice. Justice. 
This is your good karma. Somebody else's karma is for you to be the one who got away. The moon card, queen of cups, ten of pentacles. Ooh, child. Some of you guys could have left at night, ain't even saying anything. <laughs> I'm going to get you some seeds. For others of you guys, I just feel like you just loving on yourself. Queen of Cups, I told you I seen it in my third eye earlier. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups to the Moon card. I just feel like you trusting in your intuition at this time. And you focusing on you and you loving you. You being gentle to you. You being kind to you. You healing you. You know? Hmm. Wheel of Fortune. To the strength card. Things are changing. What's the moon card on the spirit? The Wheel of Fortune. To the world. I feel like you listening to your intuition. And anybody that tried to have you any type of illusion, you're ending it. It's not part of your destiny to be stuck in illusions for people to have become in your life, be emperor in reverse, to control you or dominate you or just think they got it like that, that they would they just as lucky as woman or man alive to, to meet someone like you and then just put you on the shelf and come back to you when you're ready. God is like, no. That's mine's right there. That's not yours. That's mine. That's mine's. Why are you out there bragging? God said, I stamped that. I stamped that when they was when they was born. I stamped that. That's mine. That mine right there. That 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 mine right there. You know? Somebody is learning the lesson. What you put out is what you get back. And they was out here lying to you, want to be the emperor in reverse, dominate you, and do all of this stuff to you. And they attracted somebody who was low vibration, who just like them, who they unhappy, don't want to be there, it ain't nothing but lies. Okay? And they want, to, they want you, they want to make things right with you. It's like the more you get yourself together, the more you choose you and, and get grounded, somebody's envious of that. Confirmation. You try the home went off like that. God damn. Who shall? <laughs> well, Sussies, I love you guys so very much. I hope this reading resonate. I hope it helped you guys. I hope it gave you guys clarity. And until we get up next time, later, Sussies.